I loved what Danny said after the game last night. Hello and welcome to this video. You could like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Much appreciate it. Liking helps the algorithm. Sharing gets in front of people's faces. And subscribing lets me know you like the channel. Hit our notification bell to let you know when video go live. We've got a debrief tonight at 7 p.m. So please join us for that. That should be a good one. Uh, we may have the Sabutio men out to look at tactics again. We'll see. But last night after the game, Danny was speaking to the press. And he had some interesting things to say about transfers and about particularly style of play and that's what I want to pick up on. Danny's obviously been listening and looking and seeing what's online about people not liking this playing out from the back, complaining about it and wanting the long ball situation to happen. Danny has said in the thing, it it's going to make mistakes. It's better if we keep doing it. The repetition of trying to keep doing it will make us improve instead of suddenly changing it to a different tactic. He has said that it needs to be that repetition. Keep going, keep going. The more they do it, the more saying. If he changes it, it's not going to have that. And I think he liked the idea of having people just to have that question to say, this is the philosophy I want to play. I want to do this. So when everyone keeps going, I think you need to stop playing it out from the back. It's not going anywhere. I think you're going to have to get used to this. He's wanting this to be the way of playing. Last night, there were times where Charles got a little bit caught playing that way uh, and he had to do well, but Charles had got excellent feet. The pass, especially for the fifth goal, his feet are really good. And I think Beadle got similar attribute, not as highly as um, Charles. First half, you could tell it was a set, set of team who were finding their way, trying to get you to sift them. But in the second half, the second half player knew to sift them a lot better. They moved the ball around quicker. I thought Akin was actually not too bad at times with it. And the thing is, we're going to see mistakes. We have had this said to us by Danny, by Winda by um, Bannon, they've all said there's going to be mistakes made. We've seen that. We've seen the mistakes already happen. But the more they play it, the more that it'll come good. The more they play it, the more they'll get used to it. The more they'll pick up the way they're doing it. He wants to make sure that he got that right. And the thing is, he's now got two sixes. He got Chalaber, who can play at six, and I will, uh, I won't lie. Chalaber last night wasn't great, and he got Shay Charles, who can play a six. He got players who can sit there and do it. One of the issues with the way we're playing at the minute is the players are way too far apart when there's a pass, so the loop pass and interceptions are happening so quickly, and this is something that we have to work on as a as a team. They have to work on that. They need to, they need to be faster in that little transition. Um, and I think that's the thing. They need to be so much faster in the transition. It's going to have a situation as gelling. This is the thing. He's prepared for those who criticised him. He made uh, jokes about the fans want in uh, it move in terms of style but it's gonna go wrong it's gonna go wrong before it gets right and the thing is it needs time to gel it the thing is once this gels will be really good like really good will be up there with how to play and the thing is it only takes us to get it right and gel and then everyone can get on board and I think this is a bit that people are not giving us any credit, right? Where where the where it needs to be done, like as players and stuff that what a lot of people are not giving credit to is that it ten new players that are learning a new system and they need time to gel. They need time to get used to this system. And the thing is people need <clears throat> that and want that immediate, oh, this is going to work straight away. doesn't work like line football. We don't, that's not how it works. I love the fact that 
with Danny's thing after afterwards as well. He says it how it is. There's no bullshit. There's no nothing. He says it how it is. He says he says how transfers are. He says how things are going. He's keeping his mouth shut a little bit more on transfers as well, which is good. He said I'm I'm learning too about what I say and what I don't say on transfers. We'll see what happens Friday. Look, not mentioned the Shay Charles deal at all, but hardly ever. And then the Shay Charles deal gets done. He's learning. He's learning that not everything needs to be out in the open. He's learning what to say and when not to say it. I think this is the thing. You've got to remember two things. A lot of new players in, learning a new system with old player from last season, which is going to take a while. And this is his first full season as a manager. Like, I know it was only Grimsby last night, right? But if we can play that second half style of football against Millwall at the weekend... That'd be good. He spoke about how Millwall for the weekend, we're going to have to be on it in terms of set pieces because they're good at set pieces. And it's like, it, you can tell he's already done his homework, ready for the weekend. Um, and it's like he said, he, he wasn't going to go in and change things at half time. Uh, they looked at some clips, made it better. And the thing is, he if he's the kind of manager, which we know he is, which he is data driven and looks at clips, the team talks to say is literally something we will never have had in a long time. He's like, look at this clip here. Why are we not doing this, this, and this here? You need to get closer here. Do here. Get here. That's the thing. The visual aspect of being able to show those going on like a whiteboard going, this, this, and this kind of thing instead of moving people. He's got actual video clips immediately available to show them where they need to get better, improve, or show bits in training where they were going, we were working on this, lads, in training. Where's this gone? We know we can do this because we've done it. Where's this gone? Let's get this in the mat situation. That's the kind of thing I like about Danny. I really like this attention to detail. Everything has got a little bit he's looking at. So... If you're one of these people going, I'm sick of playing out from the back, uh, I wish it would end, I've got news for you. I don't think it's going to end anytime soon. Danny has made it very clear this is the way he wants to play. And I think to build success, you have repetition. You have to repeat to try and keep building, to try and get that into the mindset, get it into the player brain, this is how we play. This is how we're going to do stuff. I think last night, first goal was another eye-opener in set deep pieces. That need to get sorted ASAP. Um, you can't have two players going for the same ball in the same man and not coming away with it. You can't, can't have that. I think last night we showed a lot of positives in that second half. Uh... Valentin playing further up was a massive positive and I hope to see more of him. I think Johnson last night made a good claim to get in the start, starting lineup over Max Lowe just to give him a bit of time to get into that role and try and understand it. The bits and pieces of where it all come good. You can see you can see it. You can see what they're trying to do. And when it comes off it's brilliant, but when it comes off badly like it did against Sunderland and Leeds, it comes off badly. So let's see what happens. Um, 7 p.m. tonight, join us. We'll do a live. I uh, don't know how long it'll be because I did a long one last night, but live tonight. Uh, if anything breaks during the day, there'll be a video, of course, and then we've got Friday's uh, roundup stream and then the review after the Millwall game. So all go, as they say.